We're going to give up on that. Hi, guys. It's Anne and Renata. We are here at the Dobbins Inn in Carrick, Fergus in Northern Ireland. Uh, the internet connection is very unstable. We are doing the best we can in the situation that we are in. This is the issue we've had all over um, England and Ireland is internet's not great. But here we are. We are. Who has listened to the <clears throat> True Hornings podcast on uh, Dobbins Inn? Hey, Sky. Hi, Erin. It's a bit slow. Good morning, Courtney. Very slow. Lynn. Hello, Donna. I can just hear myself in the background there. And Zena. Hello, Jen Ben. We're in Carrick Focus. Hey, Melissa. Touch hey, now. Becky. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so, look, what we've got set up. Um, first off, <sighs> Carrick Focus. It, it is um, after 11 p.m. here at night. This is a working pub and motel. Uh, we had virtually no uh, internet in our room, so we've come down to what's called their conference room, and their con conference room is pretty impressive. Yeah, it's a little space um, on the second floor, um, and it's surrounded by other, um, like, rooms where people that people can rent, um, but this is kind of a space that they've transformed into like a small conference space. As you can see, there are like um, on the, the page that you have or the other the other screen, you can see that it's got like little, um, it looks like stained glass windows. So maybe at one stage it was used as a, as a small um, area for prayers or Sunday mass. I don't know. I don't know why it's, it's this particular way. Um, but they think that possibly it may have been um, where the owners may have lived uh, here in this in this space while they were um, leasing the or had the license for the inn many many years ago so they've left it as a conference room now so this inn is 900 <coughs> years old wrap your heads around that 900 years there is a massive castle almost across the road oh thank you sky so much there is a huge castle across the road um, called Caddick Fergus Castle. Caddick Fergus Castle. And we're going to get in there tomorrow, we hope. But once again, we are not able to investigate and do lockdowns. Um, we haven't set any of that up. And apart from that, it does cost a lot of money to be able to do that sort of thing. So we're happy that we've got here and we've found a, a corner of the inn yes. where we can do some work. Yeah. Yeah. So we have got set up here. Uh, you'll see there's two screens. There is the Renata Daniel screen, which is a phone, and that's directly behind us. There's a giant big fireplace, and as Renata said, what looks like a church window. Uh, and we've got some cat balls set up there. We've got some K2 meters. There's a REM pod. <coughs> there's a REM pod in the fireplace. You can see that just over at the side, the REM pod in the fireplace. Um, and we thought we'll just do some work here. Mm, yep. Um, again, we can't walk around the place at the moment. Uh, what we what we might do later on is um, some recording of what it looks like downstairs, but we won't be able to. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Thank you. <coughs> we won't be able to post it because live because, again, we are in a space where there is a lot of the public and they don't want to be part of this. We haven't asked them to be a part of this. Um, although while we were sitting down and having dinner tonight, we had a couple right next to us asking we us had our shirts on. all about our shirts and what we were doing. And then um, as I was walking out behind Anne, who was going to pay, I was stopped by another lady who said, excuse me, I don't want to interrupt, um, but I couldn't help overhearing what you guys do. And I wanted to tell you that um, me and my sister have been coming here for years and years and years and years. We love this pub to death and we've stayed in almost all of the rooms. And we want to tell you that the rooms around the 20s, that, that number 20, are um, the most active 
and um, I said, oh, well, we tried to get those rooms, but they were booked out. So we Well, got, not only that, they've only got one bed. <clears throat> we've only got the top floor. We're, we're over having one bed, <coughs> especially when she's like this. I don't want to suck that in. And um, But I said, we will be doing some work in this room here that we are in currently, and that is right next to um, the corridor where the 20s rooms are. Now, they're supposed to be haunted by um, a lady by the name of Maud, who was, um, she was the daughter of... Um, she was a wife or the, the wife of the... Um, uh, of a corporal, the, uh, the, uh, yes, that's right. He, she was the, the wife of Carrick a corporal, Fergus Castle, and he um, and she had an affair with a soldier from Carrick Fergus Castle, and her husband found out and murdered her. Yeah, they ran. Um, I remember now. He ran her, the button cap. The soldier threw with his sword mm -hmm. and her as well. And then he ended up being um, tried and executed as well for murdering them both. Yeah. Um, so that is the alleged story of the ghost that roams the site here. Mm. But the ladies that we were speaking to tonight said that they believe the culprit is actually a 10-year-old boy who died around here. Now, he was working um, for the um, Dobbins Inn, and he was pushing some coal in a cart, I believe, and um, he had an accident and died. Um, he fell down a well or something, and um, she believes that the ghost that haunts this particular area of the pub is this 10-year-old boy. <laughs> Ethan from Ireland. So we're going to try. The Aussies are here. We're going to try and see if any of these spirits are willing to connect with us tonight in this particular room. So we're going to open up to them right now. Hey, so Jenna from Go to, Get Em Paranormal. We're going to ask them to come in to this room. So any of the lovely people who have been here for a very, very long time looking after this space and being a part Thanks, of this guys. space. If you would love to come through right now and share this space with oh, us you, Sky. so that we know that you are here and all the people who are here from all over the world can see you and can be part of this, if you can come through now into this space... Please. Now, I'm going to add that to the screen, but it's all looking very blank over there. Yeah. I'll put that light back on and see if anything happens. Um, Claire, we'll be down in the Republic of Ireland uh, in a couple of days. We're heading over to Galway. Oh, Jenna, you're from Wisconsin. Awesome. Is that better? It's better. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon my cough. I've been coughing for days now. It's it's not Rona. It's it's just a cold. Thank God. From the changes in of temperature. Um, but yeah, I'm suffering from a cough. So spirit. Those that are here with us, please come into this room. Come and join us right now. Come and be here. We've got some little things to play with. For you, that might be something that... What we need to do is mute your phone. So can you pop your phone on mute without losing the feed? Sorry, guys, just a little technical issue. We'll sort that out. Okay. Okay. <coughs> of course, if we... Oh, no, actually, unmute your phone. I just realised I've got to mute me. Mm. I'm sorry. I've got to work out how to mute me. There. Don't you love her finger popping in there? All right, okay. give, me, give me two seconds. I'll mute that. 
I'll remove. So we have some sweet little things here for you to play with and to touch. And especially if the little boy is here in the room with us, you're going to find these things really, really fun. And so we hope that you come really close to them and you can push them and pull them and you will make them light up in lots of lovely colours. And I'm going to show you how it works. So if you come really close to one of these, and we've got a few of these here on the table, look what happens. Look at that. Wow. So you can make that happen. Isn't that cool? Now, if you come to one of these things here with this big log stick on them, so if you come really close to them, you will make them light up and make a noise. You think you could do that for us? Oh, what are these two things? These two things here, these, they're like little pretty light boxes. And if you get close to those, all of the lights will light up. But I can't do that. Only you have the magic to do that. So if you want to know you're magical, you need to step up in front of those and they will light up all different colours too. Aren't these all lovely, tricky things that you can play with? <clears throat> so I'm going to move away a little bit now and I'm going to ask you to come really close to one of these balls or these little music boxes and things that you see here. And maybe you can make them flash and light up. <coughs> oh, yes. Yes. Yay. Can everyone see that? Yay, yay, yay. Oh, very good. Well done. Well done. Awesome. You're very clever. Now, if you want to explore and try and push or pull any of the other things that we have out, you are very welcome to do that. But if you are happy just to play with that one little thing over there, you can. Why don't you turn the K2s on their sides for me, please, so they're facing um, your camera? Sure. Okay. So the little lady, the lady over there looking at what looks like a big portal into the future, which it is, just ask me to do this. Okay, just put these like this so she can see so them. So you want to place your phone. That's it. So just making sure it works and it does. I'm going to put that a little bit closer. All right, so I thought that someone here a uh, helmet and Ben uh, said it feels that there is a guy in some sort of double coat, which is quite possible because it is a seafaring port. Mm. So do we have someone else here along with us who may not be a child who is an adult? If you would like to come and touch one of the items that lights up. You are very welcome to too. We've got lots of music playing downstairs. Maybe you like the noise. Maybe that helps you come through to us. Does that energy that they're creating downstairs help you to come through to us? Most of there is that there is a father and a son present. Right. I am feeling a presence in the room. So I know that you are here. I know that someone is here with me. And you don't have to be shy at all. Uh, Claire has name Joseph. Joseph. Is that your name, Joseph? Feel free to push any of those little 
light balls there and help us so that we can understand who you are a little bit better. Well, now there is, it's a really bad Wi-Fi connection. We're struggling with it here, so that's probably why you're seeing glitches in the screen. <coughs> um, and also it's very low lighting. Or it could be ghosts. <laughs> Actually, there is a... <coughs> The light on it. Uh, that was found in the fireplace. Yeah, I'm going to go and stand over next to it. That is believed to have been belonged to the child because it looks like someone is practicing their handwriting and their numbers and their script. Um, they believe that it belongs to the child that was uh, run over by a horse and cart here at Carrick Fergus. Um, it doesn't look like something that a 10-year-old would do. It looks very advanced. They're all a much older person. Is that yours? If, you're, if you belong to this and you left it here, this, if you left it here in the room in the fireplace, can you make one of these lights light up for me now? I'll move away so that you might feel a little bit more secure in doing that. Those red light windows are actually on an inside um, corridor. So there are no cars there at all. So if you saw a light or something go past there, that's of interest because there is nothing out there. Yeah, there is nothing out there. There are people that are walking past, but you can actually hear them walking past. And we'd be able to say to you we saw someone walking past. <laughs> so we couldn't see them walking past, but there's no car lights that have been reflected up into here either. No. Because it's actually um, um, not much traffic down there. It's more a pedestrian mall mm -hmm. than anything. All the drunk people downstairs. Come on yeah. through. Yeah, if you can send us some thumbs up, guys, we really appreciate that. That just helps with the algorithms. Um, make sure you subscribe and all that sort of stuff. Come on through. Come on so we can um, have a chat, can pull up a chair. We're told that you can turn taps on and leave the water running. We're told that you can make the lights flicker. We're told that you take sheets off people as they're sleeping in their beds. Oh, that could be handy, John, because I get hot sweats. <laughs> So maybe there's something here that you can show us tonight. Please step forward. That would be very, very welcomed. Now, the Dobbins Inn, as Anne said, is over 900 years old. It started as a tower <clears throat> that was here and manned by soldiers who were looking out for marauding tribes coming through and wanting to take the village. And I'm not quite sure whether the tower was actually built prior to the castle or not. I can't remember. My history isn't that good <clears throat> in remembering that. But in some of the old maps we saw, the, the tower is very pronounced and there is very little around it other than the tower is a stronghold. And what we are now in, we believe, are uh, two buildings sort of connected um, to make it into the inn that it is now. Um, all around the building you can see uh, old the old character of it, but, of course, it doesn't go anywhere back to uh, those early days of it being the tower that it was. Uh, literally, it is a fairly new building. If you look at ages of things in England and Ireland and Scotland and Wales, it probably goes back to the 17 or 1800s in the, in the way that it's sort of been constructed now. 
But there are many ghost stories and uh, so a lot of the ghost stories are associated with the castle that is next next uh, across the road. The, they also say that there's a tunnel from here to the castle um, and that have and may have been one of the uh, ways that uh, Maud visited her lover in the castle or they met in secret. Ooh. Oh, oh. Is that true? k just went off, both oh, wow. of them. <clears throat> wow. I'm talking about Maud. Was that you that made that light up now? And as you can see, we've, we've been here for a while and transmitting for a while and really we haven't had that much happen other than one of the cat balls go off. And now we've just had both K2 metres flash up really high. <coughs> I was talking about the the um, tunnel underneath the Dobbins Inn um, and uh, it, it being connected to the uh, castle. Is there really a tunnel? Can you make those lights flash up again if there is really a tunnel? I'm just going to put Spirit Talker on and I'll follow everything that comes through. Yep. So we have a word of knowledge. I'm just sitting here very patiently. If, oh, there's another light that just went on on the K2. There is. Hello. Hello. You can come through closer. I said, take a seat. I'm just sitting here. <clears throat> this is your place. We're just here visiting and we would like to say hello to you. So we're just getting a few flashes on the K2 over there. Are you sitting at the table now? So we're just getting a few flashes on the K2. Among. Among. So are you among many, are you? So are you among many? That's a flash That's of the K2. Flash. Can you see K2. that go off? Can you see that go off? I'm oh, sorry, I was looking yeah. down. I'm oh, sorry, I was looking down, but the words coming through the device that I'm on. Six. Six. Oh, there are six oh, of you in here. here. My goodness. My goodness. Well, thank you all for coming well, thank in. Thank you all for coming in. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. How many men How are many in men here are with us tonight? Can you tell me Can using tell the me device that Anne has? Beatrice. Come through strongly. Come through strongly. Are there many females there many here tonight? Females? With us, right here, With right us, now. Right here, right here. It. It. There are no living there people, are no under, living the people under the table. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. Somebody asked the question. Is there anyone? No living people. No living people. We would love you to play with the light balls. It's just easier for people to see when the lights flash because not, e not everyone can see you. <coughs> and the lights help us see you. So could you move another one of the lights now, please? Oh, 
Well, thank you for making the the um, little boxes with the lights go off. That's your magical abilities doing that. Are you I happy? Like the dark. Are you happy to answer our questions? We like the dark too. We're only asking because we're curious. That's all. Has the echo stopped now? The people on the feed. Tragedy. Are you talking about your own passing? Do you want to tell me how you passed? Please come forward, come closer to us. Hi, Robert. Hi, Sharon. Would so appreciate your connection. Ill. Oh, you were ill. Yeah, you won't be able to see it. Wow. I hope that you didn't suffer too much. Was it an awful way to pass? Was it painful for you? Maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe. I heard maybe through the headphones. So what ended up, what was the word? Navy, as if in the Navy. Oh, Navy. <clears throat> So good, so good to see you all. Yeah. So, were you, were you a seaman? Am I talking to a gentleman who was a seaman? Oh. What are you doing in here? This is the wrong place for a drink. Oh, yeah, but the, the pub, the, the sea. <laughs> Across the road, the seaport. Melissa, they said your name before. Do you know Melissa? Is that why you said her name? You know a lady by the name of Melissa? Again, we're waiting for one of those light balls to flash. Lawrence. I don't need to hear that on. Oh, no, not the scene of the sacred bush or the holy bulls tour. <laughs> <laughs> so we just sit here quietly and we wait patiently for something to start happening. That's that's all we can do as investigators um, and hope that those that are here with us will be kind enough to join in the conversation. Make yourself comfortable, everyone. We have plenty of time. But if you've just joined don't us, be then don't be alarmed. Well, why? What's going to happen now? I'm sure you won't frighten us. Actually, I can guarantee it. So if you would like to move something, make the light flicker. and. The ground. The ground. What's on the ground? What do I need to look for? <coughs> I'd like to see your footsteps. I know they're very, um, very noisy around us but you don't have to worry about them they're not going to come in here
That's what I'd be careful with you. Can you make one of the light balls light up, please? Can you come close to the light balls and just touch one, please? Oh, they're all picking card numbers, one, two, or three. <laughs> this is not a tarot show. I don't know what you're I'm agitated. Oh, you're agitated? <laughs> My name is Anne, and this is the Papa that's here with me. We would love to know your name. Um, it's actually a device on my phone, an app, and it's called Spirit Talker. We saw a team in England using it. We thought we'd give it a crack. I haven't done a lot of research on it yet. I want to um, sort of look at it a bit more. Your, as in um, yours sincerely. <laughs> <laughs> That's crap. Oh, Roman. <laughs> Roman's on here wanting to know what's for dinner. <laughs> <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you hungry? Would you like something to eat? Can I bring you some ale? Would that assist you if I bought you some ale? Would you light up some balls for me, please? All I can say is, Roman, you must be awfully hungry if you've been waiting this long for your food because I've been gone for almost three weeks. Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Do we have a Jeffrey with us right now? Oh, please be social. We are asking kindly. What was Jeffrey's job here at the inn or his relationship to Dobbins Inn? Jeffrey, what did you do? You can use this box that's in my hand to tell me the words because I'm I don't have the gift to be able to hear you speak. Someone's watching. Someone is watching. Oh, who's watching? <coughs> Are they not allowing you to play? Is that the difficulty? So a light just went on in okay. in the hallway. Okay. There are people coming through to their rooms. Uh -huh. Is that why you're being quiet, because someone is watching? What if I ask them... Um, permission for you to engage with us. Do you be okay with that? So if I ask the person in charge to allow you all to talk. There, as in uh, they own it, um, their dog, their cat. Well, I know it's their in. I know it's there, in, but it's okay for you to talk. It's absolutely fine. You will not get into trouble. How old are you, Jeffrey? Can you tell me how old you are? Jeffrey, did you touch that light bulb before, the one that's on the little bench there under the fireplace? Is that you? Can you do that again? The one on the table. Oh, I asked Jeffrey how old he was. He's been given the number six. Jeffrey, I hope your mama is here with you. What happened to you, Jeffrey? Did you have an accident? Did something bad happened to you? Come on, you play with these. Look, I'll show you. I'll show you again. 
I'll move them again. My friend has some look, see? balls over there. Look, you have our permission to touch and to play with. There you go. That sounds really wrong, but you know what we need. There you go. Look, so many things lighting up. So many pretty lights and things. So many pretty, pretty things. All you need to do is just touch them. Yeah? Just like that. You, while well, you, you touch those things and make the lights flash, tell me what happened to you. Tell me your story. What happened to you, Jeffrey? Oh, just... Jeffrey, you come up now. Watched. We just lost you, Renata. The phone just dropped out, and now I dropped out. Come back. Yes, hey. So, as I said, the uh, internet is shocking here. I'm surprised we've lasted this long. Can you tell me what happened, Jeffrey? Because you're only a little wee boy. I know your, your mum probably gave you some chores and things to do. Did you carry water, Jeffrey? Said not on your belly. <laughs> Did you clean your room? Navy again. Maybe. Navy. Oh, Navy. Navy. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> you want me to try using the portal? Put the headphones on. Sure. <laughs> So, you explain to them how this is going to work because I might be able to hear. All right, so Anne's putting on the headphones. She's going to plug into the portal app on the phone, which is a series of voices that are all chopped up and um, mashed together so that you can hear them. Um, like a just a crazy mess of noises and you, there are men's voices women's voices and children's voices but they're all chopped up and they're all played backwards so you can't really ever get a word um, coming out unless there is someone who is uh, kind of manipulating that noise to bring some sort of a word through so i'm going to ask some uh, questions again now feel free no, to feel free to talk to Anne um, <clears throat> through those things that she now has on her e ears. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> I'm going to ask the gentleman in charge to allow the spirits to come through and speak to us and to use the devices that are on the table, the little balls, to light up. I need some advice. I'm here. I can hear you. If you want some advice, I can give you yeah. some advice. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? What? What do you want to ask me? How can I help you? Money. Oh. That I cannot help you with. I don't have any money. Can I help you some other way? Listen. I'm listening. One thing I can't do for you, sweetheart, is give you give you money. Have you lost in betting? Have you? Have you been betting downstairs? Wow, seriously? Did you uh, lose money in a card game. <clears throat> yeah. You're a bad, bad boy. You know when you go home. Yeah, well, this is a port. We understand that sailors come in all the time. Yeah. yeah. So did you come here to do, yeah. do betting? Did you meet someone? And sit down at a card game. 
I'm great. Well, I don't think you are. Have you had a bit too? Have you had a bit too much to drink? Probably a bit of hobo. Mm. It's a very cold night to be homeless. Little Jim. Who's little Jim? Who is that? Is there anyone else with you? Yeah. Well, you didn't ask me. You talk too much. Oh, I'm sorry. That'd be right. Was. Are you pushing? Yeah, are you pushing my buttons? Is that what you're doing? Are you trying to make me angry? <laughs> it's not going to work. What are you doing here? Work. Where do you work? Work. And work. Where do you work? You tell me. I never asked you. Fuck off. Well, look, if you're going to be like that, go away. I had um, K2 meter flash just then. Just a little one. Maybe he's gone I'll now. I'll meet you outside. Well, <laughs> I was going to say maybe he's gone now. He stood up and went out the door. Yeah, okay, I'll meet you outside. Off you go. Who do we have left? He was a funny person, wasn't he? Who do we have with us now? <laughs> so we have people going past those windows now, going to their rooms. <clears throat> Get out of here. No, I've actually got a room I'm staying in tonight. <coughs> I'm not going anywhere. Another, I had another flash on the K2, is that right? Three. One here, one closer. Come and touch my hand. Come and really, really close to me. Come and touch my hand. Yeah. It's like all the voices have stopped. It's really weird. It's knock-off time. It's going home time. Are you all going home? Clean up tomorrow. That's okay. Okay. <clears throat> I have one last request. I have one request from you. Please light up these balls. Please touch these balls. Make them light up for us, please. I know you can do it. I know that if you come close enough and you make one of these light balls um, light up, I'll give you a round of applause. Oh, yeah. I know you're clever enough to do it. I'd like a lady to come through because ladies are smart. They all know how to do these things. 
<clears throat> if there really was a Maud, can you come through now, Maud or Elizabeth? Oh, flash, flash, flash. Elizabeth, is it true what they said about you and your lover? Mm -hmm. Let me just play it and other yeah. people will hear. <clears throat> if they can stop them, stop the whole thing. Then reboot it. Did you have a fight with someone on here? Did I have a fight? Yeah. Um, well, they told me to get out and I said I wasn't going to and they said they'd meet me downstairs. Yeah, they outside for the fight, are they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then as they got up, the K2s went off and I said, oh, I must be going now. And that's when he said, I'll meet you downstairs. <laughs> We're going to have to go there, yes, they're being rascals. Turn the volume down by itself. What the hell? What's it doing? They don't like phones. The lady downstairs. The lady downstairs said they do not like mobile phones. I'm, I'm fighting to turn it up. Just make sure that I don't have it on silent view. No, I don't. Well, this is the bar here on the side, and I'm going to try and turn it up. You watch what happens. It's struggling at the bottom there, it won't go any further. Here's us to go. Oh, Sky, thank you. <laughs> That's odd. Maud, I just heard Maud. Maud. Maud, are you here? <laughs> Maud, are you, are you still here, sweetheart? What can you tell me? What can you tell me about yourself? <laughs> Maud, were you pregnant? Were you pregnant with your lover's child? Is that why your husband was so angry? Did he find out? Well, he did. We know from the story that he did find out. Yeah, 
he shouldn't have hit you. He shouldn't have killed you. So we're, we're actually going to have to stop this because it's um, people are going to their rooms. <clears throat> Yeah, we just have to be really mindful that there are people all around us here and um, we don't want to disturb them. Unfortunately, again, it's not an area where we could have <clears throat> investigated on our own um, without being disturbed. Yeah, sure. So what I'll do is I'll actually show you um, the... Picture that was found. That's frozen. Well, that's going. This is a picture. Tell me if you can see it. Very blurry. It's a picture that they found in the um, fireplace. There's all writing all over that, but they can't see that. Oh. It's blurry. We'll take a photo and put it up online for you. It's almost midnight. Yeah. I'm going to shut this one down. Lighting all over that, but they can't see that. We'll take um, yeah, so we're going to have a top. The REM pod's going off. And, of course, I lifted up. Could you hear it going off? The one in the fireplace started going off. No, the one on the corner of oh, the table over started here, was going it? off. Yes. No, it's, <sighs> been, it's been silent all night. <laughs> All freaking night it's been silent. And now it decides to go off. Uh. Lord. Have mercy.